After weeks of evidence, the jury now has the case in the trial of the gunman who killed 10 people inside a Boulder King Supers in 2021. Today, both sides presenting their closing arguments to the jury, their last chance to try and sway the jury in one way or another. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon was in that packed courtroom today. Colette. Yeah, there were so many victims, family and friends showing up in full force. And for the first time, we saw the shooter's family sitting directly behind him in the courtroom listening to closing arguments. Now, the defense is saying that the shooter's severe and untreated schizophrenia is to blame in this case. But the prosecution starting out their closing arguments with some of the most shocking testimony we heard in this trial. This is so fun. Statements Mr. Listen made during the mass shooting. Pharmacist Sarah, Sarah Chin told you about, you're sick. You're sick. Doesn't mean insane. Prosecutors once again bringing physical evidence with them, showing jurors exactly how many guns and how much ammo the defendant had. They did not play any more video of the shooting, saying what the jury saw during this trial is unfortunately something they'll never forget. They point out the defendant brought all of the illegal 30 round magazines to the store with him, along with the green tip bullets he had. Those are designed to pierce steel. They mentioned the defendant telling a doctor the reason he carried out the shooting in March was because he had practiced with the weapons enough by that point. The defense, though, reiterating their argument that insanity is the only explanation for this tragedy, but the prosecution stressing every doctor we've heard from found the defendant sane at the time of the shooting. His planning and preparation were designed to maximize and increase lethality. He wanted to kill as many people as he possibly could. That's what the evidence in this case shows. You start hearing someone yelling and yelling and yelling and yelling in your head all day, or maybe just at night, or maybe just in the morning, or maybe just for an hour a day, or maybe just for I don't know how long. Did you already find him? Yelling voices are killing voices. Kill, kill, kill. Now, those killing voices she references are something the defendant said in an interview with a doctor. We saw a clip of that interview played again today where he says he believes the voices are what led him to commit the mass shooting. And defense attorney Catherine Harold, she believes this crime was not born out of choice, but out of mental illness. She told the jury if they do find the defendant not guilty by reason of insanity, they're still holding him accountable for his crimes, but instead are saying he couldn't tell the difference between right and wrong at the time of the crime. The jury has been released for the day, so now we're on verdict watch starting first thing Monday morning. Live in Boulder, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.